Hi everybody, good evening and happy new year to you. This is Jenny's Corner for January 2024 meeting of the Beachside Neighborhood Watch. I hope you are all doing well. This evening I have three general topics. First, the beautification resolution that we voted on regarding natural beachy landscaping has, had, has met with enthusiasm at the City Commission and met with enthusiasm also when I brought it to the County Commission. And I think we can start now to look at a couple of possible starting locations where we could start to look at implementing on a trial basis and take it from there. I have two ideas and you all are welcome to suggest to me what your ideas might be. My first idea is the Breakers Oceanfront Park Environmental Learning Center. That's the park where if you're on Main Street and you cross over the A1A toward the ocean, you're going to see that park on the right. It used to be a nature specimen park, but it has grown kind of veered to, toward all turf grass, not, not all turf grass, like irrigated turf grass and, um, and like some of the native plants have died and it might be good. I would love to have this be restored to a true dune specimen park the way it was more in the past. Another location is the median strip on A1A, anywhere from about Main Street down to about ISB. There's a lot of turf grass and all of that could be reverted to meadow flowers, dune flowers, other um, natural beach plants. I welcome your suggestions. Let's see what we can start to make happen. My second topic is COVID. This virus is nothing to play with. People are having long COVID. There's all kinds of other stuff. Um, I know people wanna think it's over and I understand everybody has to decide how to mitigate risks. My choice right now is to avoid indoor settings. I'm really trying to persuade some organizations to meet outdoors, but not everybody wants to, and that is what it is. Um, not everybody is gonna wear a mask and that is what it is. Um, I am gonna be choosing to wear masks indoors. And also you're just gonna be seeing a lot less of me in any kind of indoor closed setting. I am in multiple high risk categories and I work with um, clients who are in multiple high risk categories. You all know where to find me. So you won't see me indoors as much, but you know how to contact me. Um, third topic, supporting local business. One of the things we all want to preserve our wonderful beachside town. And one of the ways we can stave off unwanted big developers is to make sure our small local businesses are healthy and robust and that we have a network of support and cooperation. So one of the new businesses here on the beachside is Slapped Kitchen. And that is at 550 North Oleander. It's on Oleander just south of Seabreeze. If you know the slapped food truck, the famous, highly popular slapped food truck, you will love their brick and mortar place. I was gonna print out a menu for you tonight, but I didn't have time to track down my friend who has a printer, so. But I did post the menu in the Beachside Neighborhood Watch Facebook group. It's called BNW News. And if you're not on there already, I strongly suggest you join, it's a great, way to keep track and share information. If you're not on Facebook, maybe you have a neighbor or friend who is on Facebook. So we can all stay better connected. That's all I got for you this evening. I've run over four minutes. I was gonna try to keep myself to three. Love you guys, happy new year. Talk to you soon.